Um, hi, hi guys. guys! What's I'm up, ben. everybody? I'm Rainy, and this is the Journals of Awakening. <laughs> Here with another podcast, and today we're going to talk about the metaphysical. The what? The metaphysical. The meta what? The metaphysical. I don't know that. What is this story? Tell me about it. Is it a chocolate milk brand? Yes. What about it? No. So the metaphysical is um, not physical. It's like crystals, healing power, tarot's. Okay. Oh, that shit. Geo power. What? Geophysics? Mm, huh? Yeah. So, huh? I was just thinking about it because, uh? you know, we, when I first got into, like, witchcraft and, like, uh, like, waking up spiritually. Spellamas! Yes. Sorry. Oculus <laughs> Reparo. Um, Oculus Reparo. Crystals is, like, the first thing you get into. Yes, okay. that's a horrible drug, though. Never do that. <laughs> Fortnite. Um, <laughs> so crystals is the first thing you, like, a lot of people choose to get into. And then there's, do they really work? So I'm going to answer that question in my own opinion, because obviously I don't have any, it's all anecdotal evidence. I think they do. Exactly. So. I've showed this before on my live, but I carry stone. this. I carry it everywhere. Can I hold it? Yeah. I forgot I got this for him. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like really faded in color. What the heck? What? I found another SD card. <laughs> I've got two of these things in my wallet already. So I'm going to punch him in the nose. I'm Mr. Beast in it right now. Yeah. All right, here you go. I got content galore. This jade will be on the table. So. It's on the table. How I feel, how I feel <laughs> about crystals is that the earth is a very powerful energy, right? If you like grounding, you put your feet on the earth oh. because all of the... <laughs> I tied the shit out of it, man. I know, laced up high top, now my feet are cold. <laughs> so when you put your bare feet on the earth, which is not what I'm doing because I live in a trailer. Bare hands. Um, We still live in a trailer, two feet off Damn the ground. It! Uh, so when There's you put, a hole in the floor somewhere. You exchange energy with the earth uh, to neutralize your own. So at least 30 minutes of outside with your bare body on the ground. Bare body. <laughs> uh, grounds yourself. Naked? And I'm listening. It could be. You can sit on the ground. You can, can you be naked. Can you imagine if George walked out and we're just laying on the ground naked in our yard? <laughs> George That'd be is our neighbor. Awful. Um, <laughs> he would not look away. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, you exchange had pussy had him. <clears throat> Sorry. You exchange <laughs> energies with the ground and neutralize yourself. It keeps you in the present and the now. What I like about the Earth is it's not biased. You need at least thirty minutes plus, and people are like thirty minutes outside barefoot. Yeah. that's not a long time it's in not. universe time. Yeah. That's no, like, we're not even supposed to be wearing shoes. People. Yeah, yeah. So that's the thing. Shoes, shoes are made us. with yep. rubber. Rubber, what like? Uh, you don't think that's intentional, people? Yeah, it does not Come conduct on. electricity, so or it foam. bounces off. You will never be grounded. No, foam is fine. Really? Yeah. So, like, your foam slippers or my foam sandals? Yeah, yeah, the cheap shit. Yeah, yeah, that's not really preventing any electricity. Oh. Uh, to my it's knowledge. It's also not direct sure it contact. Yeah. You know what I mean? You exactly. got a wire that's not touching. It's sparking, but it ain't contact. So, I, mm. I wear shoes made out of rope in the summertime. I do in the wintertime, too, sometimes. Boba socks. And that way, my feet are always directly on something that you know, is I'm always pretty much connected with the earth. It makes me feel better. Crystals are the same way. The earth has the power to neuralize or neutralize, neuralize, neutralize our energy and ground us. Crystals are the same way because they're with the earth. If you work with a crystal, say the jade you just had, mm -hmm. in your hand, you are exchanging energy with the earth. It's just a piece of it. So although I... That's why I keep a jar of dirt everywhere I go. Water world. Sorry. So although I don't mm -hmm. necessarily, I mean, I think that every crystal does have different energy flows and are probably good for different things. I don't think it's an exact science. I think whichever one makes you feel better is the one your energy connects to the best, whether it works for this or works for that. Right. Right? So for I me, feel it's always been Jade. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's a strong connection to your childhood, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Sure is, too. So Ben my picked up favorite. Ben picked up this rock here. Which one is it? This is the one you picked up when we were hiking yesterday. Hiking. I picked two up. And uh, the other one is... <laughs> I figured you were probably making a face. I definitely was not. And that's because I don't make faces. Ben connected with that energy. He gave it to me and I was like, let me keep it. So I saw the rock and I was like, this is pretty. <laughs> so I feel the same way. Out of a million rocks, I saw it. About, say, tarot cards. Now, Ben is a little <laughs> iffy on that. So I'm opening up. Well, that's good. Yeah, no. Was I it Chad getting, Smith podcast? It's Chad and Cassie and yeah, all those Jamie. people. Jamie, all those people that be doing those freaking. They do oracle cards. Yeah, but it's the same thing. No, it's not. I don't know the difference. So, <laughs> Tell me. So tarot cards. And Doctor Nate, me please. Tarot cards are like uh, life advice, and oracle cards are like life wisdom. So, a tarot card you. I want wisdom, not advice. You exchange your energy into the tarot cards now. Tarot cards are made out of paper, which is made by the earth, you know? So it's not entirely implausible. Except so, it's a killed tree. It probably wasn't dead when they made the card. Probably not. Exactly. So you put your energy into it, like everything you've got, right? Your whole intentions. Because the universe hears you no, no matter what. So whether you're looking at paper or you just say, give me a sign, and then a butterfly flies across you, the universe is talking to you. Yeah. So it's just another way of talking to you through almost more straightforward. So you pull a tarot card with your energy, as long as it's full intention, it's probably going to be what you need to hear because the universe just found a more direct way to talk to you, your higher self. That's what I mean when I mean the universe. It's not some worldly being. It's you, but it's, it's, it's the subconscious you. Yeah. Oracle cards are more not like, physical you. are more like wisdom, you know, it's like, uh, so tarot cards are telling you what's going on. And oracle cards are like, hey, here's a quote to make you think, you know? So it's... It's all a lot like palm reading bullshit, right? I mean... <laughs> I'm just kidding. But that's how I came into the game. Like, yeah. my mom was on a Ouija board, you know? like. Well, mm -hmm. his mom... See, that's the thing. is she, she has a cancer moon. She, so she has the ability to wake up and be intuitive. But she fights it with every she, thing she has. Religion. She fights her intuition. Yeah. It's religion. She, because she, she grew parent, up yeah. in a religious trauma. Very religious. And she now, doesn't see it as trauma. She though. can't wake up because it's... Uh, that doesn't she kill can. the Bible says otherwise. But she's afraid to. I know. She's yes. afraid of everything. That's a maybe it's not your lifetime, you know what I mean? Exactly. But w with me married to you and imagine I'm 40 and she's like 60 or so, right? Maybe I'll get third or you know She'd she's be like 78 or that's something. That's not true. She's younger than my mom. You say when you're 40? When I'm 40. Your mom. We're gonna do some math, guys. Will be yeah, like she was seven, born in she'll 1969. Be like okay, and I was born in '98. I said '70. Yeah, so she's 29 years older than me. Yeah. Okay. My mom's 34 years older than me. My mom's older than his mom, and he's nine years older than me. Um. Anyway. Her mom waited to have babies till like 30. It was almost too late. 30. 30. <laughs> anyway, I do. Off topic, but on topic. I do believe that one day your mom is supposed to wake up, and it's probably me Mine? that'll trigger it. Yeah, but it's not going to happen until I'm old enough to where she can take me seriously. She's never taken me seriously because she met me when happen. I was nineteen. No, I really don't think it'll ever happen. It'll always be you'll always be ten years younger than Ben. You know what I mean? So immature. You have so much to learn. You could be fifty, and I'm sixty, and I've seen that much more. <laughs> That's, that's, that's my, I don't know. <coughs> we got I, hope. We got hope. Anyway, um, when I first started getting into crystals and witchy stuff and spells, Ben definitely thought it was like bullshit, but he supported me so much. But he also listened. I was like, freaky. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. he listened to me talk about this kind of stuff without like cursing it or saying anything bad against it he was just always there which open-minded yeah mm -hmm. which led me to be able to believe that i can believe in anything and he's gonna get my back yeah. so i started looking at things a little bit more in depth and then that's when we started realizing that you know we are the universe and we are god and all this stuff that people would think wow you sound crazy 
But really, Maybe no, I am. it's just, you, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so what about you? What about me? I don't know. Where is your journey with the metaphysical taking you? I hate these questions. I feel like I got to read a book to know how to answer that. Um, so the way you put it, ask it in dumber terms. Okay. Do you feel magical? No. Do you feel like you have the power to do whatever you want with your life, period? Yes, period, yes. And do you feel like there are certain tools that can help you, or do you feel like all the tools you have within you? I feel like the world is everlasting knowledge, and you can never know everything. Okay. I feel like there's definitely a lot that I'm not in tune with because I don't have the experience or the time or, well, you know? Or I, I didn't also, live that life, you know? Yeah, you know that I mean? makes sense. I also believe that you don't need crystals. You don't need anything. You can be a broke-ass bitch and still be able to change your life because all those things are just visualizations of your energy. You don't actually need the crystal to, like, get what you want from the crystal. You don't need it. Mm -hmm. You just need to believe that it's right. already there, you know? It's, it's, it's a just tool. one of those things. It's like holding your hand on the Bible to make you be more honest. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just, exactly. It's just because you, you're going to probably be a little more honest if you're religious, you know, because you, you got your hand on God's chest right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know how that no, works. No, but you... you, but, you, know, you said exactly what i'm saying what I'm yeah saying, you yeah. don't need these things to believe what you believe to be a human yeah. yeah and i i find it wonderful that we have the ability to conjure up these tools you know like there is such a thing as a wand but obviously it's not spaliamus you know right 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 it's just a tool They're it's like just, a walking stick you know yeah you could use a power drill or you could use a screwdriver or you could use a butter knife Either way, the, the job's getting the job's done. Good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, just how tools. efficiently? Huh? Yeah. Don't. So if you have the crystal in your hand, you're better, you're probably able to better visualize what you want, which will get across what you need faster, you know? So it'll still happen even if you don't have it, but it's a good tool to use. I, I'm sorry. I'm just still stuck on... Um government and church is two different things <laughs> why are we putting our hand on a bible in court we do, i don't think they do anymore they just they, they, stop they just that? raise the right hand what's that do like scouts honor yeah <laughs> precisely scouts honor <laughs> um funny. we were never okay subject Pretty soon two. in court everybody's just gonna have a lie detector hooked up to them <laughs> that would be a better idea no it wouldn't that shit isn't accurate my okay. homie's in prison he didn't kill that dude i saw it all go down <laughs> um i on that other note i like this topic which one the church and government yeah and on that note we thank you peace but it's so short say it peace <laughs>